thanks for coming to watch our video today. Today we're going to run through the process of ordering, configuring and initializing a code signing certificate on a USB token. We've got Verikey and DigiCert um, code signing certificates which this guide can be used for. Um, today we're just going to do the Verikey. So we've got the standard code signing certificate and then we've got the EV high assurance code signing certificate. So we'll just go into the standard and you will see when ordering that it does come with a few different options for provisioning the certificate. Um, so if you've already got a uh, certificate and you've used a USB token from Verikey or DigiCert, you can use the existing one you have or select to order a new token with your certificate or select to install it on a HSM like a cloud one such as Azure Key Vault. With the new USB token selection, you have the option to do standard shipping or express if you do need it a bit quicker. So today we're just going to do an existing USB token as we already have one. So we'll go through the checkout process. <coughs> um, just enter your account details or select the account if you've already got one and complete the order with your payment method. After the order is complete, you will have the service in your account ready to be configured. So we'll just go to the services, find the code signing certificate and click manage. From this page, we'll submit the certificate configuration. Now, on the certificate configuration page, we will have the option of the provisioning method again. Um, so if we were ordering it with a ship new token would have that one available or if we were wanting to install on a cloud-based HSM we can select this but today we're just going to install it onto an existing token we have already been shipped so we'll select that now if you've already got a token provided to you from Verikey or DigiCert it will be the eToken 5110 plus FIPS token so we'll just select that one. Now with the server platform, this won't really affect the end certificate issued. So we'll just select other here and allow guest access. You probably won't have this enabled on your account. This is more for the um, larger accounts. So we'll just ignore that. And then we'll come down to advanced certificate options with some of the certificate options orders you do have an option of different intermediate certificates but we'll just let this one on the default one and click next now this is where you'll enter your organization details if you've ordered it for an individual the standard code sign certificate you'll enter your individual details but for an organization you will enter all your organization details make sure all the address email and phone number is correct if you've already got a pre-validated organization with us, you can select that here. So when that all those fields are entered or organization selected, click next. Now these are the contact details that you need to enter. Now we have a few different ones here. We've got the organization admin contact. This is will this will be the contact that the validation team will get in contact with to verify that the um, the certificate is authorized to be issued and then you have the existing verified contacts so we'll just select one this is generally the same kind of person um, they will verify um, approve the order when the order is ready to be issued and then we do have a few more contacts like the technical contact they will be sent um, some additional emails such as um, approval, expiries, and so on. And you can enter even more contacts if needed. So when all those are done, click Submit Configuration, and this will submit the configuration to the Certificate Authority. And that is a success. And the Validation Manager will automatically load up here with the details. You will see the organization is already validated here, um, but if you uh, new organization 
in this process it will show up showing that it is pending validation and you'll just need to keep an eye on some emails or a phone call from the validation team which will generally take a couple of days um, the final approval email sent to the contact will have a link to this page where you can approve that certificate being issued so you would click that link and then come here and approve this and that will approve the order so once that is approved if you go back to your SSL trust account it will show that the certificate is issued and if you've got the validation manager already open from previous and now that one will start to show issued as well so now that that's issued we've got to initialize the token you may still be waiting for your token to be shipped to but seeing as we've already got one we'll go through here so you will need to download the SafeNet drivers that's the drivers for your token and you can download for OS X, Linux and Windows and you will also need to download the DigiCert hardware certificate installer this is the tool to install the actual certificate and you will need a Windows device for this or you can uh, use the free VMware with a Windows OS running which I'll be using today so coming back to coming to the Windows side of it now I have installed the DigiCert utility certificate installer and the SafeNet drivers launching the SafeNet drivers um, well first we actually got plug in our USB token so I'll plug that in the token that I've received from DigiCert or Verikey and I'll just launch the SafeNet client here and it will start to show up the token that I've plugged in which is all good good that it's um, reading that so I'll close this and I'll do launch the DigiCert certificate installer now and we'll just run through this so I'll click next and we'll agree to the terms and conditions click next now we're going to need the initialization code so if we go back to the SSL trust account and view the service we've got two options we can click the collect certificate button if you've got that visible and that will take you to a page which has the initialization code there or we can click the view order details button if you've only got this one and this will just scroll down a bit now we'll have the initialization code available here too so I'll just select this and copy go back to the DigiCert certificate installer and paste that code in click next it's just recognizing the token now we will need to select reinitialize token because it's a fresh token that I've received we go to initialize it which will erase anything on it and install a new uh, private key and certificate and click yes well, I confirm that now we do have the option of RSA or ECC and the key size I'm just gonna leave this on the default RSA but you can make a change here if needed depending on your requirements now we'll just set a token name this is useful if you've got multiple tokens and a token password there are some minimum requirements for this token passwords like, such as lowercase uppercase and numbers so I'll just confirm that and next now the administration password this is if you need to make some changes to your actual token um, you won't need this when actually signing with the token that'll be your previous password you can leave that to the default there which I recommend um, so yep that's finished now and that's just initializing the token downloading generating the keys and certificates okay looks like that's all completed this can take a few minutes um, sometimes so you may need to have a just wait so that's all good so we'll just close that okay so I'll just launch the SafeNet client and you'll see the token there now something useful is to change the settings because your token password will expire after 30 days and you would have to come in here and 
set a new password. So if you come in here and just change this to zero from 30, that will mean your token password will not expire um, and it can be quite useful. So we'll just save this and that's pretty much it. Your token is now ready for signing your applications and code. So you just need to launch whichever tool you're using for signing. Uh, make sure it is compatible with HSM tokens and you're good to go. Thanks for watching.